How you doing guys? It's Rob, I'm trying to record my phone again, what a pain in the ass that is. Uh, so I'm going to make me a little fire, I'm going to make a little video today and show you guys how to make chicory coffee. And uh, I'm just going to get the fire going here, roasting good, I might make something else too, who knows, you never know with me. So here it goes. Stack this up on here. I got some real nice dry wood here. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it catch while I go over here and show you guys what the hickory plant looks like. Hopefully, it's a catcher. So, this particular plant must like a lot of sunlight because I always find it next to the road. So, we're gonna go across the road here and uh. It's really easy to identify. You guys can probably see it already. It's got these beautiful flowers here. They're like a purplish blue color. And uh, got a real, not very many leaves on it. Kind of stringy looking plant. But nevertheless, that is what we're after right there. We're after the roots of this plant right here. It's going to be a good one right here. So just a moment. All right, so our fire's going well. So here's the hickory plant. I'm gonna make some coffee. Some beautiful flowers. You guys can focus on that. Focus, focus, there it goes. All right, so now you want the roots, actually. So it's got kind of a fibrous looking root. I have a hard time filming with this phone here. And uh, so you guys see what that looks like? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it I'm gonna chop just the root off here, right here. So let's uh, get my knife out here. So here's our roots. Uh, now I'm gonna take them and wash them up with some water real good. And I'll show you the next step after that. So now I've got them all cleaned up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop them up real fine. And can't figure out scan phone. That's on the video there. Oh, no, I can't tell. Making it. Making it. More difficult than I thought. Scan phone. All right, you can see how fibrous this is here. All right, so I've got my little pot. I take the knife here. Cut it up in little pieces. Little tiny pieces. Kind of crunchy. Really tough stuff too. By the way. So I'm gonna pause it for a moment. I'm gonna chop this up real small. Show you guys how it comes out. Okay, chopping her up. Alright, so we've got it all chopped up here. Kind of fine here. The best I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave this whole one for later. I'm gonna dry it out and make some later on. So you just take it and you sprinkle it in the bottom of your pan there. And we're gonna roast it. So what we're gonna do here? Little extra wood in here, little extra hair. So far, nobody. So now you're just gonna take it and you're gonna roast it on your fire. Yeah, just down a little bit. Not too. And we're gonna roast it until it turns black. It's going to turn really black. So we're still roasting. As you can see, it's starting to turn a little dark in there. Hard to see. So my chicory is about done, I believe. It's good and black. See how nice and... See, I just can't stand phone to focus here. See that? Sorry. A loud traffic going by. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, I just roasted it on the fire here, just like so. So it got nice and black. You know when it's done. It starts to actually catch on fire if you leave it in there too long. You can see a little ember there. Uh, so now you're ready to go and just grind it up. So I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do it. Just gonna... So the way I'm gonna do mine is look, a piece of acorn fell off top one the tree there so I'm just gonna take mine and put it in a napkin here I'm gonna 
brush it off. Use my knife here. Wind's not helping with that wind use today. So I'm gonna get my knife out here. This phone, guys, really sucks. I didn't get very many donations, only one. Which I'm really grateful for. Thanks a lot, buddy. At least somebody uh, tried to help me out. Appreciate that. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna crush it up. You know, it's gonna be my grinder. You can do it between two rocks if you didn't, you know, or whatever you want to do. So, and uh, I'll take it now. Mix it up a little bit. Brush it some more. So now I've got it all ground up. You just got this black soot looking stuff here. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold my napkin. Try to see if this napkin's going to work as a filter, but I don't know how well this is going to go. Here goes nothing, right? Or I could actually, I think I'm just going to put the hot water in here. I'm gonna do it like a tea bag. Let's see how that turns out. Water got kind of cool. Out there. Loud trucks, man. Sorry guys, can't help it. So anyhow, I'm just gonna use it like a tea bag. You could do it as coffee, like you just strain the hot water through. It'd probably be the best method. But I'm just gonna try it this way and see what happens. See if I can get any good coffee looking stuff there it goes it's coming out now yeah you can almost see it I don't know if you guys can or not but it's brewing rather well it's turning really 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 black so it's working just fine I was worried about pouring it through the napkin because I knew it was going to give out on me I could be a little more delicate this way wow look how dark that's turning Oh, we got a hole. We got a little rupture. I say I'm done with that. Uh, the napkin don't work too good, guys. Had some chunks in mine. Oh well. Out with it. I think it's not too hot, so I'm gonna throw it back on here to heat up a little bit. Oh, let me put down here. So I got two eggs here. I'm gonna show you guys how I cook my eggs. I'm just gonna throw them right on here with the coffee here. Look how black that is. It's gonna be awesome, I can tell. I'm gonna take my spoon and get that extra out of there. Yeah, there we go. Mine might be a little gritty. <laughs> oh well, that's my good luck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these eggs and I'm just gonna poke a hole in the top of these eggs. I really wish I could show you guys, but I have no good way of doing this without thinking the hold the same. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to, I don't know if this is on the camera, but I'm just going to chip a little hole all the way around, which I'll show you guys. I'm just going to do it. Alright, so all I've done, guys, is, is I've taken the knife and I just chipped a hole and I just peeled it back and tore it off, threw them right into the coals. And they're like their own natural cooker they come in. It's really awesome. So my coffee's getting hot. I got my eggs cooking. Eggs take about 15 minutes it just depends on how hot your fire is really to tell you the truth so uh i'm gonna grab a spoon so i forgot you can take your knife and uh stab the yolks and mix them around if you like scrambled eggs but i like mine just like this so you can see they're cooking rather well already see them hopping and jumping so i'm gonna go get me some creamer out get that there to get a little hotter and uh yeah, they're cooking great. Look at them. Uh, won't be long. I think about five more minutes and they will be done. I'm going to have smoked eggs and chicory coffee this morning. Great. So you want to roll them from side to side as they're cooking a little bit, you know. And uh, I think they're about done. I'm going to pop them open. I already ended up drinking my chicory coffee, which was actually pretty good. I was surprised. It's actually my first time making it. And uh, but I know these things. I gotta find the salt and pepper. And uh, oh yeah. They have this unique flavor depending on the wood you use. Uh, it gives it a nice smoke flavor, you know. So they've been on there about 10 minutes. But I just can't wait no more, so. I'm gonna break one of these open, that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, it's 
really. So, ouch. Like a So these are fresh laid eggs this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and have one. So which tastes like. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Delicious. need for them to be that damn loud. You know, noise pollution, I mean, what the hell are they doing flying around anyways? Come on. So, trying to ruin my breakfast. Anyways, so here's our egg. There's another one here. It's done. I've yet to peel. So I'm just gonna call that a video, guys. And so now you know how to make chicory coffee and eggs on the fire. Hope you guys try it out. Till next time.